Hi guys, I don't have much to show this week, um, nor the week before. Although I guess if I can quantify the amount of things I did, probably last week I did more than this. Anyway, last week I been um, I was very focused on my uh, upcoming personal project of 100 days project. Um, initially, I was thinking doing um, a notebook per day, uh, but uh, then I decided to change and transform it more like um, 100 days, but around the products and things that I do at my brand, Nuts for Paper. So therefore, it won't be just notebooks but will be also other things too so and but mostly will be notebooks <laughs> let's be real um so i was uh, programming a lot of the things so i can see if i needed to purchase things or if i can if i could use um mostly things that i already have um so yeah that was my main focus i also started to sew a lot of notebooks in preparation for those upcoming days. Um, I have a few notebooks already waiting for me for do, to do the covers in my uh, other studio. This is my home studio. In my other studio I have those things. Here I have a bunch of notebooks um, waiting to be um, sewn. I can actually insert uh, in this part of the video a photo of where I keep them um, that I shared in my Instagram account. Uh, last week I also had a few custom orders that I finished and uh, sent but since I want to share them in the in this project that I'm working I I didn't record anything um, it was um, I know <laughs> an option that I did. Uh, I was so busy with those things that I last week I ended up by not having a sketchbook Friday, either a video or even a drawing. But instead, I decided to share my current sketchbooks that I'm using and that I think I will be also sharing in this studio vlog too. I also wanted to share what I've done this week. I only be, I will only be sharing the the sketch part. And I won't give you contest, uh, con uh, context uh, for now, or maybe I will. I'm very excited with this uh, illustration. It's actually my first illustration of this year. Yeah, I'll, I'll be sharing more about it in the future when the thing is published. But I, I guess I can show you the, the sketch. So yeah, this is one of the things that occupied me this week. It was a very exciting um, illustration. It's done in a little bit different style that I usually do, but it's a style that I want to use more in my, my artwork. So I am really happy the, with the end result. I didn't... Um, I didn't color it in a um, traditional way, I color it uh, over a computer. Uh, it's something that I'm also very new to. Um, digital art is not very much my my beach <laughs> or I don't know, something that I'm very used to. Um, I'm more used to drawing in paper, coloring in paper, but uh, I've done a few things for my own brand, um, but uh, in my brand I usually use vectors, so I can use the patterns for, I don't know, notebooks, but if I want to use them any other thing I can use it there, and I it was always easier for me to use illustration Illustrator over Photoshop, but um, since last year that I've been trying to use Photoshop for painting and to do more uh, digital things, not much because I was in a rut, 
and I was not doing a lot of illustration or drawing things. Um, so yeah, this this illustration was actually a good opportunity to get back to that and to try again this sort of artwork. I end up needing more... Um, I don't know how you call it in English. Let me see if it says... Tracing paper. Um, because... I don't, how do I say, I have a Wacom, um, that's how I paint and draw in the computer, but I always like to draw in paper, and but I don't, I usually don't like to digitize my drawings, so what I do, I use tracing paper, and the Wacom that I have, it's a Wacom Intuos paper edition, so I can draw directly with a special pen with the, uh, by Wacom, and I whatever I draw in a paper, it goes directly to the computer. But I like to have the sketch in paper, like I show you, and then using the tracing paper, over in that way I will uh, digitize it to the computer. I will send the drawing to the computer. So that's the, the way that I've been doing for a while and that's so far it's my favorite way because this way I'm uh, inking the drawing and whenever I ink the drawing um, there's something that is lost because my uh, sketch in pencil is always more fluid, more natural. Um, with the inking process there's something that is lost and um, this way if I had to ink it again to the computer or if I had to digitize there was something that was not quite there and with the tracing paper um, it really helps. I was almost out of tracing paper because I'm also using it for other things. So I had to go to um shop and buy more and this time I bought um Canson one which is actually my favorite and this one is actually uh there's a lot of value in it, price value because there's 50 sheets and it was five euros um, so yeah it's really good but I found in my local art shop it's not an art shop it has pretty much everything and <laughs> even a little bit more um, I found that they have um, liquid watercolors again and I was so excited uh, because they finally have all the colors and also the liquid uh, watercolors that I like to use. They have a new packaging. These are the Ecoline by Talons. Um, and I found colors that I've never never seen anywhere and um, I've added three more bottles to my collection. So these are the new bottles. It has, um, I don't know how you say it, but you can unscrew this part and this will let you take drops of the ink and you can put it somewhere if you don't want to use the pure ink and the old bottles are like this they're um this part is easier to unscrew and also easier to close because i almost had a disaster while uh, coming home with the inks, but it's okay, they survived. So my bag, so as my bag and myself, <laughs> but uh, so I have a lot of them, uh, a lot of these um, liquid water watercolors in these old bottles, but when I found these three and I didn't brought more because I was a little bit short on money, <laughs> otherwise I would have brought um, and I, I was not sure if I had, because these um, bottles have these uh, num numbers that indicates, and I, I was not sure if um, the one the other colors that I want to, to bring, if I had them or not, because I have a lot of these colors and I don't remember the numbers. 
very well and I didn't want to have duplicates again because that blue that I show you it's a duplicate I also have a magenta that it's duplicate and I don't need duplicates because it takes me a long really long time to use up these um, inks um, watercolors actually they're not inks so I don't really need to have duplicates in my life um, so the ones that I actually bought I bought this color which is the pink beige and it's the first time that I ever saw it I think it will work very well as um, skin color very light skin color or um, also as a shadow uh, to white surfaces I think it will work very well the other one that I bought is the beige yes I bought really boring colors at least these two are a little bit boring but the other one is one of my favorite colors of all time and it's turquoise or actually it's green turquoise because there is a blue turquoise that I already have and this one I was so so afraid that I had a duplicate but it since it was a color that I really liked I thought okay whatever <laughs> if I have it I'll have to start to do a lot of uh, illustrations with this color but no, I already have the blue one, not the green one. I've never seen this one. And it's such a vibrant color. It's so beautiful that I'm really happy. And I want to go back and uh, look for a couple more colors. Specifically the um, light gray colors. Because I think they will also be very beautiful to use. Not uh, just as a shadow. But since I use, um, mostly my illustrations don't, when I work on traditional media, I don't use uh, backgrounds. So I, sometimes I like to go with a very light um, color and do some shading to the background. But uh, what I use now, sometimes I use my Copics, uh, other times I use this Zig uh, marker which is, I think this one is water-based and it's light gray. I also had a few Kuretake uh, brush pens that the, they had, I had a really beautiful gray color, but it's almost ending and I cannot find anywhere a replacement for that one. So I've been saving it and I try not to use it as much as I used to. So I think this will be more interesting and because since it's watercolor um, I can always add water and look a little bit more faded so I think for shadows will work very well so I think I'm gonna now since I don't have much things to share this week I think I'll be showing my current sketchbooks it won't be a sketchbook tour it's just I use this sketchbook for this and I can show you for what I use it and um, yeah that's going to be it so these are the five current sketchbooks that I'm using and I think I'm going to start with the oldest one okay so my oldest sketchbook that I'm currently using it's this one which, which was created by me uh, last year in 2017, uh, in the beginning of 2017, in a way that I was trying to, um, I don't want to say force myself to draw more, but to incentivize, no, no try to make myself draw more, and I wanted to have something that I try to call like sketchbook pages. And so weekly sketch sketchbook pages it's a little bit uh, similar to my sketchbook Friday of 2018 but um, yeah it, it quickly turned to more like an illustration project and then I completely abandoned it so about the papers and the covers so the covers it's one of my patterns um, it's a cacti pattern then I have cardboard, 
I usually start my sketchbooks with um, some color swatches. This one is actually for my echo lines. These are not all of the echo lines that I have now. I have way more than this. Um, yeah, this is, was a random sketch that I did. And yeah, this is some of my first sketches that I did with my Prismacolor color rays pencils, which are some color pencils that I, I really love to use them. And in this paper, they work really fine. This is a 160 GM paper. Um, with color lines, it really works well. I also really like the result with Copic colors, although they bleed, as you can see here. Uh, I also really like to use these, uh, this paper with black marker. Um, these are some of the drawings that I did. This is an illustration, but I try to use my eco lines and the paper doesn't work very well with that. Um, this one happened the same. This one is a marker. This is an illustration. So yeah, I end up trying to do a lot of illustrations in this sketchbook and I'm not going to say they don't work, but I mean, they work for like markers, but other things don't work very well in this paper. As I said, pencil, I think it works beautifully. And this is also a rough sketch for an illustration. And yeah, more pencil. I really like uh, HB pencil in this sketchbook but uh, then I stopped drawing so it didn't work that well so my other one uh, my other old sketchbook this is a watercolor sketchbook it works beautifully with my echo lines and my Copic markers um, these are all uh, illustrations that I did during 2016 I did monthly illustrations like my monthly favorites um, and also a few illustrations for my blog this was uh, an illustration that I did I try use um, marker uh, pen markers no brush markers sorry um, but it's something that I'm not very used to and sometimes it didn't work that well this was also one of the monthly favorites, another monthly favorite, and um, this is one of my favorite illustrations inspired by uh, J.R.R. Tolkien uh, works, uh, especially Hobbit. Um, yeah, but by the end of 2016, I pretty much stopped doing the monthly illustrations and so I end up not using this uh, sketchbook anymore, but I really love this paper. It's a little bit textured. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, you can. Uh, it has texture. I don't like it for for rough sketches, but for more final work, I think it works beautifully. This is my. This is a very small one. Oh, I didn't say the brand of this watercolor one. Yeah, it's Canson art book, mixed media. So yeah, I really like it. It has an awkward shape because it's not really A5. Um, and that sometimes bothers me because you lose a lot with the perforated sheets too. But oh well. This is Talents Art Creation Notebook in 12 by 12 centimeters which is not a size that I'm used to use. I started to use this sketchbook for my uh, Inktober of last year. And you can see this is one of the first sketches. Uh, I use Equiline and uh, marker, black marker. 
This was also one of the other drawings that I did for Inktober, and that's it, because I didn't finish Inktober. What I have here is a lot of other sketches with my uh, squirrel characters that I eventually want to create a sort of um, either graphic novel. I'm not so keen on comics. I mean, I love comics, but I don't think I have the... I don't think I'm ready to write or uh, draw comics, but maybe a graphic novel or some sort of that. Or maybe do a zine with these uh, illustrations. These were all inspired by last year Inktober prompts. And yeah, but I didn't finish anything. And they're all, they're very faded because um, I did them with my Prismacolor color rays in pink. Um, and so they're not very up there. I really like the paper of that sketchbook, but it's very small. It's not very appropriate for other sort of work. Okay, this is a sketchbook that I started in August of last year. Uh, let me see. It's by Windsor and Newton. And it's... Um, let me see what it says. I always keep these things. It's... It has 50 sheets. It's heavyweight paper. And it's meant for pencil, pen, ink, and watercolor, but not very heavy watercolor. This is my beginning page. I just These are my swatch pages. These are my new echo lines. I had to try them. I tried to do some illustrations. This is actually probably the only one, uh, but then I resorted to more a uh, sketch. Um, these were drawings for my Probably a pattern that I want to create around cactus. Uh, these are gesture drawings, but I wanted to train um, face expressions, which is something that uh, I think I need to work on. And I, since I had my duplicate of this Ecoline color, which is the Prussian blue, I started to use it as to complement my sketches. And yes, I did a few things with markers. Um, I also tried to do to use the magenta, but I didn't like it as much as the as the blue one. So a lot of sketches. These are these sketches are my thumbnails for my for the Inktober of last year. I decided to you know have a rough idea of what I really wanted to do and then keep going in the other sketchbook. This one actually is one of my favorite pages of this uh, sketchbook because I usually don't draw buildings and I usually don't do this overlay of sketches. I My, my old way of draw using sketchbooks was pretty much one drawing per page and I try to start to change that in these ones. And I'm really happy of what I've been doing. Oh, this is a self-portrait. Um, this is a sketch. These are more thumbnails for my last year in October with my squirrel character. More thumbnails, more rough sketches. I also tried to do some uh, lettering, but uh, it's something that I really need to work more. More buildings. Um, this is, I started to do a lot of, um, gesture drawings in the sketchbook. I got a few inks on Christmas and I was trying them. And this, this is my first drawings of this year. This is one of my pages where I use my, um, blue watercolor and pink. Yeah, and I like to, I, I start to like to jot ideas from, for these um, kind of sketch and drawings. And yeah, I think it helps me think. Um, and for the last one, it's this one. 
it's also it doesn't say here but it's also by uh, the same brand that has the smaller one the talons art creation but i think it's an older version because the paper quality is quite different it's um let me try it's a very textured paper it's a more yellowy paper i I really love to draw in pencil on these types of paper. It almost reminds me of uh, recycled paper, which I love to to draw on years ago, and then I stopped to find this sort of paper and yeah, so what's this sketchbook for and why I started another sketchbook? So this sketchbook is for gesture drawing and studies. So I started with faces and expressions. And then I did a few body ones, full body. And yeah, this was only in one day. And I haven't drawn much more. <laughs> After that but I think it's going to, to be uh, good to do this uh, observational kind of drawings I'm kind of excited to keep on doing this sort of drawings so yes yeah, this is uh, going to be sort of long and rambly video I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next studio vlog